ഓം ശാന്തി ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ സാക്കാർ മുരളി ഓഫ് സെവൻത്ത് നവംബർ ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി ടു എസൻസ് സ്വീറ്റ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ മേക്ക് എഫേർട്ട് ടു റെസ്ക്യൂ ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീയിങ്സ് ഹു ഹാവ് ഫോഗഡൺ ദ ഫാദർ ആൻഡ് ബിക്കം ട്രാപ്പ് ഇൻ ദ ക്വിക്ക് സാൻഡ് ചേൺ ദ ഓഷ്യൻ ഓഫ് നോളേജ് ആൻഡ് ഗീവ് എവറി വൺ ദ ഫാദേഴ്സ് ട്രൂ ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ which religion does the gita scripture belong to what significant things are to be understood from this answer the gita scripture is the scripture of the brahmin deity religion it is said salutation to the brahmins who become deities you wouldn't call it just the scripture of the deity religion because deities don't have this knowledge brahmins listen to the knowledge of the gita and become deities and it is therefore the scripture of both the brahmins and the deities it is not said to be a scripture of the hindu religion these things have to be understood very clearly in corporeal shiva baba himself and not krishna is giving you the knowledge of the gita essence for dharana 1 churn the ocean of knowledge and rescue human beings from the quicksand awaken those who are sleeping in the sleep of kumbhakarna 2 remove your intellects yoga from subtle and corporeal beings and remember the one in corporeal father connect everyone's intellects to the one father blessing may you become completely pure and experience the elevated stage of purity by becoming a true wise now the definition of complete purity is very elevated and easy the meaning of complete purity is that impurity should not touch your mind or intellect even in your dreams this is known as being a true vaishnav even if you are a number wise effort maker the aim of your effort is to have complete purity this is easy when you have the company of the almighty authority father who makes the impossible possible slogan an easy yogi is the one who makes effort in an entertaining way instead of stubbornness or labor om shanti